Chapter 1, Product Introduction. This lesson covers a basic introduction to Fiber Census's products and applications. Included in this section are the benefits of Fiber Census fiber optic based security systems, the different types of optical fiber, how optical fiber is used with Fiber Census products, and the types of sites where fiber defender systems have been utilized. Fiber optics are a safe and reliable perimeter security solution. Fiber is non conductive making it immune to electromagnetic interference, radio frequency interference, and lightning. Fiber is intrinsically safe, as it cannot cause ignition, and can therefore be used in explosive environments. It is also extremely robust, maintaining performance between minus 40 to plus 70 degrees Celsius, and, is also immune to corrosion, retaining integrity over an estimated 20-year installed lifespan. Additionally, optical components in the system are passive. Depending on the application, no electrical infrastructure is required at the perimeter. Optical fiber is made of two specifically formulated layers of glass that form the core and cladding. The core and cladding each have a unique index of refraction, a material property critical to the function of the fiber. The variation of material properties between the core and cladding allows optical fiber to take advantage of two optical characteristics, reflection and refraction, causing a phenomenon called total internal reflection. This phenomenon allows light to pass exclusively through the core of the fiber. As a result, fiber can transmit signal over large distances with minimal loss. There are two primary types of optical fiber, single mode and multimode. The small 9 micron core of single mode fiber allows it to carry light through one pathway, or mode, straight down the core of the fiber. Multimode fiber has a larger core size, typically 50 or 62.5 microns, allowing it to carry multiple modes of light through the fiber core. When multimode fiber is subject to vibrations caused by disturbances, the light pathways inside the core will change, thereby creating a detectable signal. Single mode, on the other hand, is resistant to such disturbances because it allows just one pathway for light to travel. All optical-based fiber sensor systems use these unique features to detect intruders. For most systems, single-mode fiber is used as a lead-in to send and retrieve the light from the APU, while all systems, use multimode fiber for the sensing zone. Before proceeding, it is important to note that all fiber defender alarm processors utilize Class 1 lasers. While Class 1 lasers are considered safe when used in the intended manner, it is recommended that users take extreme caution when working with fiber census products. Fiber Defender products have been used to protect a wide variety of installations such as military facilities, correction institutes, power generation plants, critical infrastructure sites such as electrical substations, natural gas storage facilities, and municipal water storage, as well as general commercial and even residential sites. The primary application for Fiber Defender products is perimeter intrusion detection. Alarm processors monitor sensitive cable assemblies that are coupled to a physical perimeter boundary. A site perimeter may be comprised of fences of any type, privacy walls, and even building walls. Fiber Census products were originally designed for fence security. Fences such as chain link, palisade, wrought iron, welded mesh, and anti-climb types have all been successfully secured from intrusion. These images show the various fences to which the Fiber Defender products have been applied. In addition to fences, perimeters may have walls as well. When these walls form part of the site's protected perimeter, wall penetration intrusion must also be considered. Wall penetration systems have been employed on walls made of metal, concrete, brick, and drywall. Securing the perimeter often involves more than just the fence. Some sites, such as water treatment facilities, have culverts or pipes that could allow access. These entrances tend to have large metal grates to prevent intrusion, thus must also be protected to secure the perimeter. Grates are basically fence panels fixed into a foundation, by which fiber census products have found success in protecting culverts. Perimeter security has always been and will continue to be a critically important aspect of site security. However, some facilities require additional security monitoring of their physical data network infrastructure. This is where the Fiber Census Secure Land product line is utilized. Fiber Census Secure Land products have been employed successfully in many different protected distribution systems, structures such as EMT, rigid metal conduit, ducts, and raceways. 
To help protect these data networks, the Secure LAN product line was developed with the specific goal of making securing network lines easier. Some sites may not be looking for perimeter or PDS protection but still have other assets to protect. One such instance involves the application of the cable break sensor. This could be used to detect natural or man-made destructive activity. This is shown in the image on the left which has the fiber sensor connected to a chain of solar panels, or in the image to the right which has a radiological machine. In these applications, if the cable is broken or disconnected, then an alarm is generated. This concludes Chapter 1.